Now the floor is given to Colonel Alexander Matuzianik, the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine spokesperson on ATO related issues. Welcome. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Now, to your attention, is the information about the main events that happened yesterday in the anti-terror operations zone. As during the previous days, during the last 24 hours, the situation in the anti-terror operations zone remained tense, but it was under full control of uh, detachments of uh, the armed forces of Ukraine. The number of enemy shellings in different parts of the line of confrontation increased. The enemy continued to deliver precision fire at positions of the armed forces of Ukraine using weapons that are banned by the Minsk agreements. The occupants opened fire with the use of tanks and mortars of uh, 120 and 82 mm of caliber and weaponry of IVF. Now, information in more detail. The Lugansk sector. In this part of front line, the enemy demonstrated the biggest activity, delivering 18 shellings in the direction of positions of the armed forces of Ukraine. These shellings lasted from the early morning until late in the evening. The enemy used 120 and 82 mm mortars, grenade launchers, and small arms, and also weaponry of IVFs. Uh, Russian mercenaries. Um, repeatedly opened fire at the defenders of Luganska village that is in Svetlodarsk bulge. Also, during the day, the militants twice shelled the positions of Ukrainian armed forces in the region of Troitska, used uh, 120 mm mortars, um, also mortar mines of 82 mm of caliber, and also uh, firing provocations and small arms and grenade launches. This is the spectrum of um, influence that is used by the enemy against our forces in um, near uh, Novotoshkivska and Novalexandrivka. Also, our strongholds near Zaitseva came under grenade launch fire and IVF fire and uh, IV fire. Also, the uh, servicemen of the enemy used uh, infantry weapons. The Donetsk sector, their pro-Russian mercenaries tw uh, 12 uh, times uh, uh, violated ceasefire during the day. The biggest number of enemy shellings is recorded in the Vodina region, where the enemy uh, four times uh, used uh, 120 mm and 82 mm mortars. During the day, the enemy uh, shelled Ukrainian positions uh, with the use of tanks, launching five projectiles, and also delivered dense fire with the use of grenade launchers. It is worth mentioning that Ukrainian side of JCCC uh, officially informed that illegal armed formations uh, of temporary occupied territories continue the practice of shelling using artillery uh, in of the suburbs of Vodyane. Uh, they also deliver fire in residential quarters, and it is proved by the photo footage uh, presented by officers of um, uh, Mariupol Observation Group. And also, um, occupants deliver fire with the use of artillery system of large caliber against peaceful residents. And uh, in uh, uh, on the uh, 16th of November, um, in the region of Sahanka and Vodyane, uh, two enemy artillery shells uh, um, of 152 millimeter of cal caliber hit the residential quarters, Pivnichna uh, and Dachna streets in Vodyane. And in the um, result, uh, there were um, damages to uh, windows and walls and the roofs of the buildings, and also uh, there were craters, um, uh, fortunately no casualties among civilians, and uh, no and Pavlopil, 120 and 82 mm mortars were used by the enemy against our defenders, and the Ukrainian servicemen delivered suppressed aggressive actions of the enemy by precision firing, and uh, used all the spectrum uh, of um, 
firing impact that is allowed. And along the uh, contact line, uh, the enemy during the last 24 hours delivered 30 precision shellings of the positions of the armed forces of Ukraine. And uh, in 20 instances, Ukrainian servicemen returned fire with the use of small arms, grenade launchers, and weaponry of IFVs, um, uh, IVF. And uh, uh, in the result of combat uh, combat actions, uh, uh, no servicemen killed, but four um, were wounded in course of shelling. One serviceman was uh, wounded near Vodyane, one near Piske, and one near Vodyane, and one near Novotoshkivska. And the state of three servicemen is satisfactory, one uh, in a heavy condition. Now they are provided with all necessary medical assistance. Uh, the officers of centers of civil and military cooperation continue their work and uh, in operative and uh, tactical unit Lugansk. They went to Lugansk in order to provide humanitarian assistance to low-income residents, those who live along the line of confrontation. The residents were provided with um, cereals, uh, flour, sugar, bread, uh, preserves, uh, condensed milk, and sunflower oil. And at the same time, officers of civil and military cooperation uh, group Donetsk in Vesela uh, Novoselevka Druga uh, delivered uh, materials for uh, winterization of wi uh, windows. And this freight was provided by volunteers from Mikolaev. And also uh, there was social monitoring at Marienka checkpoint. And uh, the officers uh, uh, spoke with uh, citizens about humanitarian issues, uh, the reissue of uh, pension cards and um, uh, also processing of social uh, certificates and uh, also uh, in identified places of withdrawal in anti-terror operation uh, zone, uh, tank men continue to improve their skills. Uh, tank men uh, of one of the detachment of operative and tactical unit Donetsk um, held training. Uh, the crews uh, rehearsed uh, sniper firing uh, at uh, um, with the use of cannon at imaginary enemy from the distance of 1.5 kilometers. And the detachments uh, in the places of withdrawal continued tra the training uh, in order to efficiently um, complete tasks uh, uh, when uh, they are ordered. So um, the extraordinary and plenipotentiary ambassador of Great Britain and Northern Ireland to Ukraine, Judith Goff, was on a working visit to uh, Slavyansk and Kramatorsk. She met with the servicemen of uh, the units of the armed forces of Ukraine who heroically defended uh, and held the positions uh, um, against uh, Russia occupation forces in 2014, and the servicemen uh, uh, told uh, Judith Goff about the events uh, that happened at that time when the city was uh, uh, first occupied and freed. And, uh, uh, the, uh, and the Ukrainian side expressed gratitude to Great Britain uh, for their help uh, in training of Ukrainian armed forces, especially in technical medicine that improved capabilities of detachments uh, that complete tasks in ATO uh, zone. And uh, Judith Goff said that each visit to the east of Ukraine provides better understanding of the situation in Donbas. And also the ambassador paid tribute to the memory of fallen soldiers at the memorial that was erected near Slovyansk. At the same time, in Lugansk and Starobilsk, Novoskovsky, uh, joint uh, regional military commissariat. They had uh, demo training uh, in organization of work of elements of mobilization, deployment of military commissariats. And the participants considered the issues of acceptance of servicemen to men of detachments, territorial defense, equipment, aspects of organization of preparatory measures for comprehensive support and housing and daily life of personnel. Also, they discussed the issues of organization and planning of uh, rear support, uh, setting places for storage of small arms and um, ammunition of detachments of defense, and also training of military personnel. 
At the same time, in Kiev City Military Commissariat, on the basis of a Balonsk uh, Commissariat, uh, they held uh, demo instruction methodological, methodological training. They con considered the issues of uh, management, warning, acceptance, and delivery of mobilized resources to military organizational structures of armed forces of Ukraine and other military formations. The aim of the event is to form the single approach of commissariat officials to the order of identification and uh, uh, organization of the work of um, uh, deployment of regional military commissariats. And um, those who participated were uh, heads of uh, departments and units and services of uh, Kiev city commissariats, uh, military commissariats of uh, regional uh, military commissariats, uh, and the deputy heads of uh, regional state uh, uh, administration and heads of sectors of defense and mobilization uh, of uh, Kiev city state administrations. There are no questions. Thank you.